difficult to detect because antivirus uh, products just scan the disk. And of course, you can also scan a master boot record, but it's very easy to spoof it. You just need a driver that it's below the normal Windows driver. And then you can intercept it and just return another master boot record, then the, which is really stored. Which is also done, for example, in Maproot does a very good job with hiding itself. So once it, it's installed, it will be never detected and makes it really hard to find it. So I am opening now my CMD Exe controller. And I'm also showing you a debug view, which displays debug messages that's sent to the kernel. So you can also see what the bootkit is doing inside, which makes it also, which is a very, very useful tool for testing. So it should capture everything. And if I enter now, who am I? Okay, it's not cool, it's inside. It doesn't seem like it's running. Okay, it's bad. There must be some mistake. Okay, well, what I will publish the CD server can test on yourself. Um, yeah, but that's not from the bootkit. That's some Windows stuff. Normally, it would display um, images that are loaded, and the privilege escalation would display um, when I type in who am I, it would just go through all processes um, and find the services exit process and copies the security token to the one of the CMD exit. But it doesn't seem like it's working. I finished it today. At 2 a.m., so it's, yeah, not that good. Um, but, well, to continue, I have, like I said, I've also included um, boot applications and plugins. And one example plugin is the CO2 plugin, which throttles down the CPU to 80%, also using the ACPI and modifying a table of it. So it, it reduces the CO2 output. And it, it's also quite interesting because it uses open source. Um, the source code ori was originally used for DOS to slow it down to work for the old DOS games. And I can now reuse it. And another example application of it would be using it as, um, as extractor for um, other malicious software. Um, because the bootkit does not use any debug breakpoints or any, any stuff that reverse engineering tools are using. So it's undetected. And um, I've written a Cinnamon extractor which extracts the unpacked kernel driver because Cinnamon, a banking token, is highly encrypted. And it just lets execute Cinnamon and it will detect when it's decrypted and unpacked and it uses for that, bra um, not breakpoints, but um, export hooks. Um, so the, the hooks are installed into the, by Windows into the program um, using, overwriting the export table of the NT kernel. And it writes it out to disk for further analysis. And here we can see, for example, the result of it, for, of the, code that is used for the, for the command and the name, name generation. And also the, you also see the commands you can send to the Cinnaval software. And for the future, I want to make it totally operating system independent. I want to cover Linux and also 64-bit operating systems because it currently just works for 32-bit. And for my next presentation, I also want to defeat the trusted platform module because it has some security flaws, or better saying the implementations are not the best. 
so it's also possible to bypass them. And for my whole topic and talk, I've used um, some references. Um, there are great papers available of other researchers, which also helped me and get me into the topic. And they're really great, you should see them. And I want to thank you all for your attention, and I really appreciate that you're here because it's, it's really night, and it's nearly 23 o'clock, so thanks for your attention. Are there any questions? Really? Hey, dude, how's it going? <laughs> I saw you Fine. in Vegas. <laughs> Fine, yeah, it worked in Vegas. He's really, he's not kidding. Um, so I was thinking, what about T-list? What about task manager? What about process list? Uh, you know, if I do those various things, am I going to see anything that's going to indicate to me no. that I've got an infection in memory? No, no, you won't see anything because it's not a registered process or task. So the process, um, so the task manager won't show anything up and it's executed beside the kernel and you won't detect any change of it. It stays undetected. Hello, uh, one question. You need access to the master boot record. If you have a full disk encryption, half a full disk encryption on the hard disk, is that protecting you against that? Because you must first access the MBR to do the infection, right? What? Sorry? If you have a full disk en encryption, half a full disk encryption yeah. on the disk, for example, Seagate or Toshiba are now bringing out hard disks which have on the disk a uh, Rindal encryption. Is that protecting you in any way? The, if the master record is protected? Yes. No, it's totally unprotected and unsecured. And this is really the weak point on the whole thing. And this is why I just can't do the whole attack because the master record is just not verified. And can simply replace it. He was talking about hardware. Ah, hardware encryption. encryption. Yeah, well, for hardware encryption, um, you have to consider the two ways for physical access. This would basically protect it. But um, if, you ha if you execute infect on the Windows, then the hardware encryption is a layer below, so you could still infect the drive under a running system. So it, hardware encryption just secures it for a turned off system. Any other questions? Um, um, yeah, BitLocker uses the trusted platform module. Um, I've, um, so it's not working with it. At least it will just make your system unusable because when you start it will tell you that the hashes are no longer valid and you can use then the recovery CD or your system is fucked. And this is a short a bit of disadvantage because if anything is not the same and if the hash is no longer valid then you cannot decrypt the drive. And this is then the bad thing about it. How would you go about to detect if your PC is uh, stoned? How what? Uh, how would you detect if the bootkit is installed oh. on your PC? How would you go about it? Um, I would simply check the master record in the hex editor because currently I'm not.